In this video, we're going to be using PAA Low Haiku and the Blacklin Blackbird Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from my sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and let's get into the shave today. And I'm going to be using today, as mentioned before, PAA Low Haiku, which is based on the vintage high karate aftershave. I got the CK6 version, which is $24.95 for five ounces. And on our cost chart there, that's $4.99 an ounce, which is a fair price. And I remind you, if you're going to get both the soap and aftershave from PAA, make sure to get the bundle because it is cheaper. I'll have that link for you below. I'll put the notes for you on this soap right there. And a lot of these vintage um, soaps or inspira inspired by vintage uh, soaps or aftershaves um, have a sort of Old Spice sort of DNA to them, and this one does as well. I do like the scent. It also has a little bit of a musky vibe to it, but not in a funky way. It's it's a nice vintage sort of scent. So when you smell this, it's like, yep, yeah, this is like 60s, 70s, something like that. I like it. This is the CK6 Vegan Formula. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. Very easy to work with very easy to lather. I really never have any problems at all lathering PAA soaps. I'll put a lather shot for you right there and it's nice and creamy, no problems whatsoever. The razor for today is the Blackland Blackbird razor. Now this one happens to be titanium, but I'm going to tell you whether you're using titanium or stainless steel, the Blackbird is a nice, efficient, smooth shaver. Either way you go, it's a winning choice. Uh, in my opinion, in the razor is a Nasset blade and uh, this shaver again is is efficient but it's uh, also smooth and regardless of which version you have i think it's an excellent shaver and we look forward to using it today all right let's get into it a lot of babbling not enough action so let's provide that right now i'm going to start off by just misting the face and i've had a lot of comments recently where people have picked up the mister and they use it and they're like hey this is awesome because i'm not splashing water all over the sink now so good i'm so glad that uh, you like it that's why i use it as well and the brush for today is the PAA Amber Aerolite uh, series brush. And we've got a really nice lather here in our uh, Hendrix Classics and Company bowl. And if you didn't see the bowl video yesterday, there's a giveaway in that one. So go check that one out and enter that giveaway. And we have some nice creamy goodness here on the lather, which is customary with uh, PAA, whether you're using CK6, whether you're using the regular CK formula. I don't think this one was available when I bought it in the regular CK formula. If it had been, I would have bought the CK regular. We call it just regular. Um, not that it lacks anything, because for me it doesn't, but this one has additional butters and skin foods and all that sort of stuff in it, which I don't personally require or need. But if it's the only thing that's available, I'll buy the you know soap and the CK6. And this really does have a... This reminds you of the 70s. I don't remember when High Karate came out. I can't remember whether it was the 60s or 70s, but it definitely has that vintage Old Spice sort of vibe to it. And I'm not saying it, it's a dead ringer for Old Spice because it's not, but it has that vibe to it, if that makes sense. And man, it's fun to apply this lather on your face, isn't it? It's really nice. Had a nice time yesterday. The uh, My brother, who I haven't seen for a year, came in from Orlando here to my mother's and uh, we had a nice time, you know, catching up and just overall a nice day. Uh, my mom's still, you know, she's on the mend um, because her, this particular chemo cycle is over. Her chemo is going to continue, but this particular cycle is over and she gets a, a week or two in between and, you know, she's still not a hundred percent, but, you know, she's getting better. Um, so that's always nice and it seems like by the time she gets better, the chemo starts again which is a bummer but you know I like to see her not struggling and so you know any improvement is, is great for me so let's get into the shave with our blackbird today oh yeah nice and smooth very nice indeed the blackbird never um, disappoints in fact I would say all the blackland razors for me have been winners the only one I haven't tried is the um, 
is the Traderi reproduction, but I did own the original Traderi razor, both models. So um, I got rid of those razors because I just did, at the time, you know, they were good, but I didn't think they were, you know, special necessarily. I sort of regret letting those go, to be honest with you. I've made many of those <laughs> mistakes throughout the years, letting things go and regretting it. So be careful, folks. Don't sell or get rid of something until you're absolutely convinced that you have no interest in using it anymore. Because I had those original Traderi razors and I wish I still had them. And so keep that in mind. Just if something isn't um, calling to you right now, maybe it will in a few months, you know, like, use me, use me. <laughs> Well, today the blackbird was calling to me and it was like, hey, use me. You haven't used me for a little bit. Really nice, smooth. I like that a lot. And today we have no washer running in the background, so I'm much happier. <laughs> it's very nice. It was just kind of tough yesterday because in here it was very loud. It didn't come across quite as loud on the video, although you could hear it towards, you know, the mid to middle to end portion of the video. Man, that's smooth. Wow. I like that a lot. So none of that today. <laughs> so we're we're feeling a lot better about the, our situation here. Oh man, this thing just shaves. It's got some good efficiency, good blade feel, and it just feels great. And the soap, you know, it's it's PAA CK6, so it's going to be excellent. Just overall, a very very good experience in that first pass. And we we'll reapply a little moisture there, and then we'll reapply our lather. There's a, as you can see it there in the bottom, there's a good bit of the soap still left. So PAA will um, produce volume pretty easily, I find. And it's nice and creamy. And this brush, by the way, don't sleep on these um, Amber Light Series brushes. They are very nice. And the knots feel bit bigger than they are. I think they're, what are they? They're 24, but they feel like more like 26 or even 28 to me. Um, they are very nice. Feel like a good soft synthetic knot. Um, the brushes from PAA are really good value and people sleep on them. They should not because they are very nice. I own probably, I don't know, four or five PAA brushes, maybe more even. And they're usually well priced. You know, they're usually around $20 ish, depending on which one you're getting. And uh, man, they are nice. So check out the Phantom Air Light, the blue one. That's one, that's my favorite. But this one is great. The Solar Flare is great. The Peregrino is great. I need to pick up the Peregrino. I gave one of those away, but I don't own one myself. I need to pick that one up. I think I will at some point, but oh man, this is fun. There's good scent strength on this soap too. Medium high, I would call it. And sometimes you just get lost in making that low. Look at that creamy goodness right there. Man, that is good stuff. I'm liking that a lot. And also have the, uh, aftershave for this too because I bought the set but um, I didn't bring it with me you know because I'm trying to use up this sterling um, what am I using mountain man I can't remember but anyway it's good stuff all the same <laughs> so let's continue on today and again the, the scent on this if you find yourself being a fan of uh, Old Spice sort of scents you might like it if you strongly don't like Old Spice sort of scents, you may not like this. So just keep that in mind. Very nice. Nice and smooth. This uh, Nasset is on its second use. And for me, the maximum uses that I'll put on a DE blade is three. Three and out all the time. And if the blade starts feeling uh, rough after two or even one, I'll stop right there. As I always say, there's no use in... Um, no use in pushing DE blades because DE blades are inexpensive, you know, relative to everything else. So if you buy a lot of soaps in a year, you know, one package of blades, um, which is a hundred blades, is like one tub of soap, you know, so it's very, very inexpensive and there's no reason to push uh, blades. The only DE blade, there's only one exception to this. The only DE blade that I've ever pushed is the Persona 74, which is a very, very special blade. It's made of tungsten steel, and you can get more shaves out of that blade. Most everybody who's ever owned one has tried it, and I still have one at home, and it's got, I want to say, 12, 13 shaves on it, and 
it's still in great condition and I'm not sure why that is. I'm gonna go ahead and do a cross pass here real quick. But the Persona 74, which is vintage, it's hard to find and it's very expensive now. You can find them on eBay. That's the exception to my blade rule. I will um, use that one for some additional shaves because it's just, it was sort of built to, to, to put mini shaves on it. And, it. and it does last. But all the other blades, I find there's no need to do that. Now, if you do and get great results, you know, good for you. But especially if you're new, new folks, speaking to you today, so pay attention. Don't try to extend the life of the blade using it 10, 12 times a DE blade. Um, you're just asking for trouble because when your technique is, you know, you're just building your technique. You want to make sure you, all your equipment is at its peak condition and that blade is in good working condition. So if you were going, say, four or five shades with a DE blade, I, I can say, okay, you're okay, you know, probably. But when you're going, you know, 10, 12, um, if you're new, then I'd say you're in the definitely in the danger zone there. So be careful. And we do have a lot of new folks who have been uh, commenting. I got a uh, had a comment yesterday where a gentleman said, "I started de shaving um, because of you, sir. If you were here today, thank you. I really appreciate that comment. Nothing makes me happier than that. I just love that, you know." And then he said he also convinced his brother to start de shaving, and he had some, you know, problems with his skin and so forth and things have gotten much better and his brother's also enjoying DE shaving. So that is what we were here to do, folks, you know. You have some folks who you'll see trolling the comments of videos, always having negative things to say, always, everything's a conspiracy to these people. You like, they're, they're, they're not for anything, they're against everything. And every time you bring up anything, it's like, I can do this cheaper and this, and I'm like, just enjoy it, just enjoy it. You're missing the point. Of this hobby to enjoy. Everything's not a conspiracy. We're just here to enjoy. We are hobbyists. We buy things, we use them, we share them, we share our joy. That's what it's about. Don't be a negative Nancy that's against everything. You know what I mean? You people, I guarantee you, there's someone in your life that everything is negative all the time or something is wrong with everything. And there are some people like that who you'll see commenting in the videos and it's like, find something to be passionate about, to be for, you know? There's nothing wrong with espousing your opinion when you don't like something. I certainly will, I'm not afraid to, but there's also a lot of things that I'm passionate about that I love every single day that I talk about too here and just enjoy it. Like that gentleman who uh, said, you know, I started DE shaving uh, because of you. I am honored that nothing makes me feel better than that. And that's why I do it. You know, that's or at least one of the reasons. I mean, first reasons, cause I'm having fun. <laughs> but the second reason is bringing this to new people and allowing them to have fun, sharing in people's joy. That There's no better feeling than that. That's what it's all about. And so when you see these people, you know, negative Nancy all the time, try to lift them up. We got to get those people in the right frame of mind where they're enjoying this too, as we do. All right. Excellent shave. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our Razor Rock Allen. And there was no stinging there, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, sweepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Excellent shave. Following the Allen, we did a cool water rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel. Prior to applying the magic made by witches, this is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber with Aloe. Absolutely love this stuff. I had an excellent shave today with PAA Low Haiku. Again, if you find yourself appreciating Old Spice sort of scents, you might like this one. It's very good. Uh, I really enjoyed it today. I also really enjoyed the Blackland Blackbird. Uh, this one is in titanium, but I'm here to tell you whether it's stainless or titanium, this is a great efficient razor, a smooth ride with a nascent blade. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you folks today are gonna enjoy your shapes. Please folks, help me with my relentless pursuit and, and advocacy of this hobby to get other people in here. We need more people enjoying themselves, less negative Nancy. So bring somebody in today. And ladies, I wanna thank you ladies who have recently come to the channel. We need more of you. Thank you so much for commenting. I know this is sort of a male dominated hobby, but we need more of you. Thank you so much, you know who you are. And uh, let's finish running down the rest of the stuff we use. We use the uh, PAA 
Amber Airlight brush, and it's riding in our Lancaster Razorworks brush soaking mug. Of course, our HCNC uh, stainless steel bowl. And again, there's a video up on that from yesterday comparing it to the Captain's Choice bowl with a giveaway in it. So pop on over there and enter that giveaway. We're going to close things out today with Mountain Man. And again, folks, today the word or the, the objective is enjoy yourself and help other people enjoy themselves. And let's try to lift people up until they're enjoying themselves the way we are. And if they can't be lifted up, we'll lift them out, you know, because there's no room for that foolishness, negative, um, toxic stuff. We got to get them up or we got to get them out. It's that simple. <laughs> I hope you'll join me in that effort. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.